hey you guys welcome to Towlet. thank you for clicking on my video thank you for coming in and just listening to my porch pickings you know gossip you know what i do or whatever y'all i'm just gonna jump right into it because i had a lot of people hitting me up asking me what am i going to talk about what's going on in this youtube streets right and you guys i have to be honest with you um it's a it's a little overwhelming you know of course my normal content is love and marriage huntsville but shirley strawberry oh my goodness shirley strawberry you know the co-host of the steve harvey morning show i think it is or whatever like oh my goodness her life is just 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 tumbling down like it's going down the drain because she's married to this man, you know, Ernesto, Ernesto Williams. Y'all, I don't, don't want to hurt nobody feelings, but people with the last name Williams, because there's a lot of Williams out here, I'ma just say uh, suspect. And then we got Krishan Rock and Blueface, you know, and their newborn child, and how they got this baby out all over the place, and it's just so disturbing because that baby does not need to be in everybody's face that baby is not even three weeks old at this point that baby is young that baby is still you know trying to figure its way out or understand what's going on outside of his mother's womb and although his mother has no idea what the hell she doing and i'm thinking from what i can see and i don't really you know subscribe or listen to a lot of the stuff because it's just so much with Krishan and Blueface it's so much and, and it's really really kid stuff to me but it's kid stuff with no guidance no guidance whatsoever and I don't know if she's just not listening to people who can actually you know tell her that there's this is not what you're supposed to do with this newborn child this beautiful baby they have a beautiful baby but you guys, it's so overwhelming for me. Everything that's going on, it's like, oh my goodness. And I know you guys want me to do a video and I'm trying to do this video. But I want to give you all of me or whatever. I just want to touch on a few things. I'm going to start with Love and Marriage Huntsville. You know, with Kiki, for, for instance, when uh, the, the, the new season where Mel actually went to go visit Kiki and Kiki told her um, she was in the hospital because she had really bad back problems or whatever. And, you know, production has a way of doing things or whatever to make you think, oh, here we go. Because they kept, you know, kind of making it seem like Kiki just kept talking and talking and talking and talking. And Mel was just, just trying to, you know, soak it all in, to, you know, to be able to respond, but waiting on her time to respond. It was just a lot going on there or whatever. But uh, I'm going to give y'all all of that in another video. But Shirley Strawberry and Ernesto Williams. Shirley Strawberry, like I said, uh, the co-host of the Steve Harvey Morning Show, whatever it's called. Um, she's been married to this man for about eight years. And this man has been nothing but a pain in her in her side and i think now she is finally realizing that he's been nothing but a pain in her side she's gained so much way before she met him and then she gets with him and she loses so much more it's just really sad Shirley Strawberry is a woman. She's, what, in her late 60s, uh, going into her 70s, I believe. A beautiful woman. You know, she did the Strawberry Letters on Steve Harvey Morning Show or whatever. But I guess she never thought she was going to be her own Strawberry Letter. You know, her husband, Ernesto Williams, he's been in jail for over a year now. Maybe going on two years. Well, actually, it is going on two years, if I'm not mistaken. This man has been a scammer, a schemer. Uh, he's been everything that you would tell anybody that you love to stay away from. This man is a mess. He's a whole hot mess. And I know most of you have already seen uh, when Steve Harvey, you know, came out. I think it was last Monday. Uh, today is Thursday or whatever, but this was last Monday, you know, the Monday before last when they came out, or maybe it was this Monday, I don't know, K 
came out and said, we're going to talk about it. And Shirley, she, you know, she came out and she apologized because, you know, phone calls, the jail phone calls have been leaked. Yeah, y'all, just check on YouTube. You, you will find out all you need to know. If you don't know, you will know. And she said some things that uh, she wasn't happy with and she was scared that, you know, oh my God, you know, I could completely lose my livelihood, you know, my job, my everything or whatever. But in that one particular phone call, she didn't, in my opinion, she didn't really say anything wrong. She, she was admiring um, uh, Steve Harvey and Marjorie, Marjorie Harvey's home and all the amenities that their home had you know things that we normal people would have to go outside of our home to get like spas and saunas and you know nail and and, and, and nails and hair done marjorie apparently has that in her home that she shares with her husband steve harvey or whatever and she did say which was you know some people like Marjorie or Steve Harvey might think was a little mean or whatever. But she said, uh, you know, Marjorie looks at them, Steve Harvey's co-host and workers at the radio station, as the hell. And Steve is afraid of her. Yeah, so it was a lot of that or, you know, but I don't think that was nothing for her to be so upset about. Honestly, you guys, when I was first getting into all this information, I was thinking, like, how did these phone calls get leaked? Like, how did these jail calls get leaked? They got leaked or whatever. But, you know, as time went on, we found out that anyone can call and actually hear a jail, a jail call phone call. A prison call whatever you want to call it anyone can get that information yeah it's true anyone can get that information so to whoever's out here you know you got your man locked up and you might think he's talking to tiffany and, and he's saying oh he's only about you but he might be talking to tiffany no you can actually pull those records like i don't know uh, uh what you got to do but you know a little googling you will find out all that information or whatever. And it's just sad. It's just really, really sad because Shirley Strawberry, you know, I think her relationship with her daughter has definitely been tainted because, you know, uh, her daughter, you know, went to the police, wanted to find out what's going on. Like, what's going on? Because me and my children have been around this man who's my, my mom's husband and i'm just gonna speak like i'm talking like i'm i'm the daughter and my mom is clueless or whatever about what's going on she gonna stick by mom my mom is gonna stick by her man and that's all she know but daughter was like no i have my babies around this man and the police or the feds or whoever is investigating the situation you guys they told her that your your uh signature has been on some paperwork so of course the daughter want to know well what 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 what's going on and so um but the good thing about the good thing the silver lining for shirley strawberry and i hope she's listening and i hope she's been listening to what's going on y'all ready if you hadn't already heard i'm about to tell you although shirley strawberry and ernesto or better yet ernest let's call that nigga let's call him what he is ernest ernest williams was married before and i know some of you guys are like okay well a lot of people in their age range have been married before, but no, Ernest, Ernesto, Swine Lord, Swine whatever. He never got a divorce from his wife. And let me clean that up. The, ex, the wife, the, the strange wife or whatever you want to call her, she did file for a divorce. But she filed for a divorce way after years after ernesto and shirley strawberry were married mm -hmm. 
Yeah, y'all sitting pipe on that. Yeah, she filed for a divorce while he was supposedly, and I use air quote, quotes, supposedly being married to Shirley Strawberry. So Shirley Strawberry, I hope you're listening, sugar. I have nothing but respect for you, and I pray everything works out for you, because this is a swindler, swindler situation. You might not be liable for nothing. I hope you play it smart, sugar. I hope you play it smart. Which I think that she is because as uh, as of the recent taping of the Steve Harvey Morning Show last Monday or whatever, she came out and said, you know, that the divorce, the divorce proceedings are on the way or whatever, which she should. But you should definitely go ahead and do whatever you can to rid yourself of this bad seed that you let seep into your life. Because ain't no way you about 70 years old and you living from pillar to post. You've lost your homes, your vehicles. You've lost so much. And I'm not trying to beat her up or beat her down. Shirley Strawberry, I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm just trying to bring awareness to the fact that women, women, ma'am, 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 you have to be careful and not just careful. You have to research because if we found all this information out on Ernesto or better yet, Ernest Williams, that information was out there for, for, for free fall. Anyone could have found this information. And I think sometimes women get so caught up in just having a man. You know, like my good homeboy would always say, I guess any man to do, no, any man will not do. Any man will not do. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go ahead and kill that narrative. Any man will not do. Ernesto is a criminal. A criminal by by name, a criminal by acts, he's a criminal. This man stole millions of dollars from people. This man can't even be around y'all. If y'all don't know, I'm gonna tell you really quickly. If y'all don't know, this Bojangles banjo playing wannabe whatever is not allowed around children or animals did y'all hear me children nor animals what children Oh, so that makes me think, ugh, like, children, my guy? Children. So you old sicko, huh? Like, you old lowlife. You, you one of them mofos that somebody would have. Oh, my goodness. And then, y'all, they said animals. I just want to ask Ernest. What you did to the animals? I mean, of course, obviously, the ch ch be not being a being able to be around children is bad enough. But what did you do with animals for them to put that in the indictment that they're trying to put on you? And not even trying, but it seemed like it's going through. Like, what did you what? You sick SUB. You sick SOB. I'm sorry. You sick SOB. Yeah. Shirley. I'm speaking directly to you, honey. Cut ties. 
I'm think I from my from what my understanding, uh, your marriage is not even valid. And if that is true, that's a blessing. I heard those phone conversations. You was always talking about the Bible, preaching the Bible to this criminal, this crook, <laughs> this this disgusting human being. Yeah. That might that that sounds like you're out. That sounds like your your way out of this. And you're still a beautiful woman. I don't care how old you are. You're a beautiful woman. And I think Steve Harvey told you. He said, you're too old for this. And I don't take that as him saying you're too old as in age-wise. I think he was saying that more so in maturity. You're too old to be bamboozled by the likes of Ernesto Ernest Williams. Girl. And I'm not trying to harp too hard on you or whatever. Because most women did not go through the same, not the same, but similar situations. Because these men, a lot of these men, hmm, very questionable. Extremely questionable. Mm-mm-mm.